Templates provide consistent values and quality for your designs, saving both time and money. For example, you may have a standard baseline for a cap back or a particular setting for towels. Templates preserve these settings so there is no need to go through the process of setting up these properties when creating similar jobs in the future. The common thing to all of your designs would be the brand of thread and colour range you use in your workroom, so it stands to reason to make this setting first and form the basis for future templates. From your Docker toolbar, or from the right hand end of the colour palette, open the My Threads flyout, pin it into place and make it wider if needed. Notice my standard colours in the colour palette are generic Wilcom colours. Select the top left icon to open the available thread charts. And select your brand of thread from the drop down and send it to the right side of the list and send the default colours back to the left. Now OK. And notice the My Threads chart is filled with your new brand choice. As you select the colour chip in the working palette, the closest match to the colour in your chosen brand will appear at the top of the list. If you wish to select another colour for the working palette, select it from the list by typing in the code and left click. or match all current colours in the palette to the new chart by selecting Match All. Once you are satisfied with your choice, choose Save as Template from the File menu. The standard template is normal, so overwrite it. Other settings you may wish to change in the normal template are in the background and display colours dialog. For most of my work I prefer a light grey background. Unsewn items to show as a bright colour for easy identification and the guides as blue to stand out against any image that's been scanned on a white background. Again, save these settings to the normal template. From here, you're ready to create a specialty template, for example, a cap back. From the product visualizer, choose headwear and cap back. If you don't have the cap back image, check the downloads at the bottom of this article and download along with some instructions. From the Settings tab, choose a colour and apply now. Create some text on an arc baseline and save as a template. I will call mine cap back. So the next time you have a cap back job, all you need to do is open the template and adjust the wording. 